Hi there. One of the really interesting aspects of the UK labour market just at the moment is the idea that unemployment is continuing to fall and it is now below 5% of the labour force. But yet we haven't seen a significant pickup or acceleration in the rate of change of wages in the labour market. And this is uh, suggesting to us that perhaps the equilibrium rate of unemployment in the UK is lower than we thought it would be. The Phillips curve, of course, suggests that once unemployment falls below a certain level, we tend to see an acceleration in wage and then price inflation. But here's the data. Here's the, the data for the UK. And basically this chart shows in orange the unemployment rate as a percentage of the labour force. And blue chart shows the annual growth of regular pay. Regular pay excludes bonuses, for example. It's essentially basic pay plus, plus overtime. And the chart suggests that in recent times, the wage growth in the economy, wage growth in the labour market, has been weak relative to what the unemployment rate is. So, for example, if we just take the recent time period here, from 2012 through to the latest data, this has been a, a four-year stretch when the rate of unemployment has fallen more or less continuously from over 8% of the labour force down now to below 5%. Initially, wage growth was very low. In fact, it was hovering around 1%. Then it tipped up to around 2% in the UK um, in 2015. But it stayed there more or less. So the subsequent fall in unemployment in the last two or three years has not been matched with a big rise in wage growth. Now this goes against the standard prediction of the Phillips curve. Uh, it tells us that perhaps the Phillips curve at the moment remains relatively flat. And indeed from a UK economy perspective it suggests that the, the unemployment rate, measured here by the Labour Force Survey, the unemployment rate can still fall further to perhaps below the level that we saw before the economic crisis 2007-2008. In other words, the Bank of England is now suggesting that unemployment can continue to decline without necessarily triggering a big pickup in wage growth and labour cost pressures in the economy. This suggests that the so-called equilibrium unemployment rate, or the natural rate of unemployment, is probably less than 5% in the UK. Or does it also tell us that actually wage growth is being held back because people still fear for their jobs, uh, because trade unions are far less powerful and influential than they were 10, 15 years ago, and because of the pressures of globalisation to, to hold down the growth of wages. So all kinds of things happening in the labour market at the moment. The key thing to take away from this chart is that unemployment continues to fall without triggering a big rise in inflation. So the wage Phillips curve idea uh, has yet to come back into sort of the theoretical focus that you see in the textbooks. But one to watch out for as we head through 2017.